Listen, guys, you don't want to piss off somebody that's financially independent, has got their money going for them. This guy, if he wants to, listen, if in your context, a billion dollars is a lot of money, it just may not be a lot of money to this guy. So have you ever been in a relationship where that person who was the most good looking person you ever dated at the time, they smelled good, you enjoyed your time with them, they're wealthy, you know, you went out with them, money wasn't an issue. Ever dated somebody like that? And then you took them for granted? You took the relationship for granted? You ever been in that type of relationship? And what happens to them? They eventually leave. Well, this is what's going on right now with Elon Musk saying bye bye California. Get out of here. I'm gone. You know why? Because you ain't taking care of me. Well, here's the thing with Elon Musk. He's been saying this for a minute. So if I go back to his Twitter here right quick, if you go back here to Twitter, it was uh, uh, early May when the pandemic was in its early stages and the factories are shut down and he's already complaining here. Now, listen, we're shut down. I don't like this. I'm going back and forth. You know, there's a tweet here. It says, man, we're starting production. I will be on the line with everybody else. If anybody in my company is arrested, let it be only me. So he's taking responsibility for his company because he wants his people to get back to work making money. And then you go back here to this article in CNBC and California's like, you know what? We're not worried about it. It says here, it says here in this article here, Elon Musk is threatening to leave California and it can actually cost him a billion dollars. But here's the crazy part. He's the second wealthiest man in the world. Only, only uh, second to the number one, which is Jeff Bezos of Amazon. Listen, guys, you don't want to piss off somebody that's financially independent has got their money going for them. This guy, if he wants to, listen, is if in your context, a billion dollars is a lot of money, it just may not be a lot of money to this guy. So they pushed him. They pushed him. They took him for granted. And next thing you know, he's gone. So officially, as of yesterday afternoon, it's reported here in the Wall Street Journal, this, this, this video, let's take a look at this video, that he's going. And uh, let's take a look at this. In, in California. In fact, it's worth noting that Tesla is the last car company still manufacturing cars in California. Uh, SpaceX is the, large, the last aerospace company still doing significant uh, manufacturing in California. What did he just say? It's the last car manufacturing company and it's the last aerospace manufacturing. Yeah, it's like, hey, listen, dude, this is the last pretty girlfriend you're ever going to have. And he's saying bye-bye, bye-bye of this magnitude, of this class. And he's so, kind of ticked. I mean, by the way, just, just looking at his demeanor. I mean, I've seen him in, in other interviews, but just looking at his demeanor, I can see he's very careful and calculated about the words that are coming out of his mouth. Let's take a look at this. In California, and California used to be the center of aerospace manufacturing. My used companies to be. are the last two left. <laughs> I want to emphasize. So Last two left. That's a very important point to make. Yes. Um, for myself, yes, I, I, I have moved to Texas. What you doing, California? Um, we've got the Starship development uh, here in South Texas, where I am right now. We're hopefully going to... Uh, in the meantime, you let him have a side chick, California. <laughs> you let him have a side trick on the side and say, hey, I got options. That's what happens if you don't take care of of your boo. Yeah, I think there's, you know, there's, um, California is great. So there's a lot, of, a lot of things that are really great about California. Obviously, it's great. Hey, how many guys think California is great? I mean, I mean, there's a lot of good things going on for California. You got the beaches, you got the sun, you got the weather, a lot of great things. Hollywood, uh, the GDP of California rivals many different countries. I mean, you got a lot of good things going on in California, but you got your top guy here, one of your biggest guys leaving, and they're just not, they're just not budging. They're too arrogant. And so many companies have left California. And the big argument, well, we got a lot of people coming to us too as well. Not as fast as some of the biggest names leaving California. Biggest economy in the country, most number of people. Um, but I do think that uh, th 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 there is something that happens when, uh, you know. There it is. You know, Here's his reason. Sort of sports team analogy. Like if a, if a team has been winning for too long, they, they do tend to get a little complacent, a little entitled, uh -huh. and they don't it is. win the championship anymore. Uh, just he took a shot. There it is. Hey, Governor Newsom. Hey, um, uh, fellow politicians there trying to keep us to be actively building our business in the state of California. So therefore, we can continue to create jobs. So we continue to create, uh, you know, tax revenue and shopping revenue and other revenue from the business that I create here in, in, in California. But if you've been winning for so long and you failed to grow, you failed to grow, you failed to innovate, you failed to get better. You know, you didn't work on the relationship. A lot of people leaving California. I mean, 
you see all the news. We uh, we just did a video yesterday. said who's, who's been leaving? Joe Rogan, uh, Ben Shapiro, Patrick but David, now Elon Musk. Big names leaving California. And th that's the, not even a tip of the list that's leaving California. So when I'm looking at this thing, and people say, okay, what about the taxes? Well, there's, there's currently a, uh, uh, Alaska, Florida, Tennessee, Texas, Nevada, New Hampshire. Am I saying that right? Or New Hampshire, South Dakota, Washington, Wyoming. You make money there. You don't pay any state income tax. Well, guess where he's leaving to? He's leaving to... Texas. So he's leaving for Texas, right? California lost Elon Musk to Texas. And uh, people say, well, it's, it's a great tax, income tax friendly state. Absolutely. Imagine those jobs being relocated. Hopefully folks from Northern California, if this was a sign for you to leave Northern California, to follow Tesla, you might have some benefit package for you to follow along and work the factory. Listen, uh, last week we're doing a workshop here for helping people start their business. And literally one of the people from Tesla came onto our workshop and wants to learn how to master the money again. Let's take a look at this video. Working at Tesla, so I'm on the line building Tesla. Right here. <laughs> yeah. He's in Tesla. I love it, man. Yeah, I've been here for a while. My uh, question is <laughs> Listen, he's smart. He's smart. He must have heard things along the way that they're relocating. He's got to find a plan A, why he's at his plan B. And so when we're looking at these type of things, uh, as, as we wrap up this move here, my, my reaction to this is such that you cannot get complacent. If you have good people that are in your life, whether your personal relationships, your company, your business, you got a great business partner, you might have conflict. You know, the, the best way I get to learn people is about how they act in down moments. Because to me, when there's conflict, when there's down moments, when things aren't going right, to me, that's when true character shows up. And throughout this year of 2020, the true character of California showed up. And so I'm reminded of this book in the movie scene of Atlas Shrugged when uh, the factory worker just left. He said, listen, I'm not giving my paycheck to somebody who's not working for it because yeah, I got my own problems too as well. And he decides to leave and this whole economic system starts to fall apart. The government gets big, you know, uh, 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 bureaucracies start clamping innovation. Uh, you know, the, 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 the gas is like, $30,000 a barrel. People can't afford to fly uh, airplanes. People can't afford to drive cars. There's only one thing going on, which is a railroad to get people from point A to point B in America. And to see these type of things starting to happen in, 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 in folks, some of the sharpest minds, some of the sharpest talent, some of the sharpest innovators and entrepreneurs and generators and creators. And I see that happening in this type of situation where states are losing their best people, talent is leaving, money's departing, government is getting bigger, you know, and when I'm seeing these type of things, you cannot take for granted that people are willing to grow and innovate. The second thing is, as we go into losing people, you have to embrace those that are creative. You have to embrace those that, that are willing to grow with you. When you have somebody in your corner and you've been investing in relationships, you know, uh, have a benefit package. Why should somebody stick with you? As we got guys and gals growing their companies, I always say this, if you wanna hire people, if you wanna recruit people, if you wanna train people, you wanna develop people, you always gotta innovate yourself and say, hey, every day I'm gonna find a way for you to stick with me because I'm growing. You can't get complacent. Uh, if you have a long-term game plan, you have a big vision, and you're gonna attract people that wanna build these, not just people who are producers, people not just there for the short term, but you're gonna attract long-term those that you decide to grow with that are innovative, those that you decide to build a relationship with. The third thing is, if you don't like where you're at, make an Elon Musk move. Like, move. Do a cost analysis. Do a relocation analysis. Uh, what does it take to start fresh, start new in a new city and state? You gotta find somewhere where you're gonna be happy, not only just for the short term, but more importantly, for the long term. And so, your desire, if you wanna become a first generation cash flow millionaire, is to take care of your best people. You decide to innovate, you decide to go give a reason for people to stick around with you for the long term, and you gotta have to make sure if things don't work right, have the financial capital, have the financial innovation to be ready to move. There's opportunity opening up. In problems and situations like this, opportunities show up. If you stack your cash, you save your cash, opportunities, people are gonna say, hey, why don't you come over here? Why don't you come do business with us? And if you got the cash, you got the capital, and you can move, you can take advantage of a lot of things. And, and here's what I know about what's going on here in the next couple years or so. And as we get through this pandemic, and right now the waves of people getting the vaccines here for potentially the COVID-19 to get them the first line to get the vaccines. We don't know what's going to happen post-pandemic. 
We don't know how necessarily business are going to happen, but all I know is oppor- I see opportunity around the corner. And for those that continue to innovate and grow and be prepared and ready to move, you will benefit in the years coming ahead. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? What is this move with Elon Musk? What would you do in a situation? Would you stay in a relationship where you're not appreciated and taken care of? What would you do with your career? I'm curious. So drop your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, you follow our Facebook business page, Money Smart Gun. Make sure you mash the like and click that like button. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications the next time we upload our episode. We're doing Vlogmas every day from the 1st of December all the way to the 24th of December. We're uploading an episode every day to provide our YouTube community at Seven Figure Squad thoughts about winning the money game, how to make sure you have an income strategy for 2021, and also personal and leadership development to help you become the next best version of you, because I believe the best of you is yet to come. So that being said, guys, I'm your money smart guy here from the Seven Figure Squad Studios, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Oh, my God.